Oh, Mr. CJ, are you having a rough time coming back to school? Yes. <laughs> Come and say hi to the home biscuits. Mr. CJ. I'm not in the mood. Mr. CJ isn't in the mood to say hello. Sorry. But you love them still, right? Yeah. You still love them? Yeah. All right. He still loves you. I've been known to be impatient I've been known to be wrong I am prone to exaggeration So I am off from work and I'm gonna cook myself some lunch because I'm officially back on keto but I wanted to show y'all this right here. I don't know if you can tell if it's like white sauce. It's actually mayo and it's like a little secret of mine. I don't know if I've ever shown this before, but my sister actually is the one that taught me this. She marinated her chicken once. It's best if you let it marinate like everything. It just adds so much moisture to the chicken and just the flavor. I've loved it ever since she shared that information with me. So yeah i'm gonna just do that so like i said i usually typically let it marinate but i forgot to do it this morning because i woke up late because that's the start of my life i just can't get to work on time hopefully one day y'all can make it happen and i can just work from home and then i have no excuse to getting up late <laughs> no i probably wake up early to be able to do what i love doing but yeah after this i'm gonna have lunch and i'm actually gonna edit some of the footage from Thanksgiving, I didn't record a lot because I went to, um, well, I'll explain it. Well, I explained it in the video, but yeah, um, y'all will get to see why I didn't do, but whatever clips I do have, I'm gonna edit those right now, so you should have seen that video by now. So Mr. CJ and I went to this view that I like going to a lot, and it's a city of like the San Fernando Valley, and it's really close, and it's really beautiful, but I forgot to vlog because Mr. CJ was giving me lots and lots of attitude. We didn't have a good day at school. He's <laughs> just walking by. Um, and you know what? It happens. Like, y'all know that I don't fake it. You know, I choose to share at my own timing. However, I do, um, I am very honest about it. And we rough evening. So pretty much, basically, I forgot to completely film because I was just dealing with it. And I figured maybe going there would just kind of brighten up my mood in general because um it was um it wasn't a horrible day at work but it was just very busy and a lot was going on and so and then you know in the midst of all that i've yet to talk about my medical issue which i actually have a better diagnosis and i want to sit down um and just do like a video and just talk about it and i want to update you all i just haven't had the time and the reason i'm not doing it now is because I I need to get some homework done. I have about two or three weeks. I don't even know. I'm like maybe not even trying to figure out how many weeks I have left of school. So it is super late. I've been working on homework and um, I have three more assignments that are due tomorrow. But um, honestly, I had a pretty rough day. Um, it's not anything that is overwhelming so much um, I haven't cried which is always a sign of you know for the most part I've got it handled but I still feel like it was a rough day and I feel like I've got to let some of it out um, only because I've made progress I know that I've mentioned several times that I was going to talk to you all um, exactly what happened like with my medical situation and now that i have better answers and i'm kind of closer to the procedure like i want to definitely talk to you all so that i could start sharing um this process and you know just like anything right when we document everything on youtube and we talk about it and you know you can always help somebody else and more importantly like i need the support <laughs> more than anything it's me that needs you more than you need me but um i several years ago um was had an infection on i think a molar i think it was actually my wisdom tooth and so i ran into the dentist and you know it's just like just fix it they ended up referring me um, to an oral surgeon, which I believe it's called like a maxillofacial surgeon. And um, basically, I needed like additional care. 
Um, I didn't quite understand why, you know, she just, I remember she told me something along the lines like, oh, um, it's out of my capability at the dental services. You're going to need, a, you know, just a little bit more surgery to remove the wisdom tooth. So in my head, I'm just thinking, okay, maybe the wisdom tooth grow out a particular way that she just couldn't um, or didn't have the tools to do it. So no biggie, right? So I go to my appointment, my consultation. Turns out that the reason she referred me was because she saw, you know, a mass, um, something in my jaw, um, which is where the process kind of began. So long story short, after starting the procedure and having a biopsy, I do have a benign tumor in my jaw. And it is more noticeable since I've lost weight and it's also grown because it's been in for almost five years. But if I lean close enough, and I wish somebody were recording me, but they're not, you're able to definitely see it. And when I touch it, I'm able to feel it like it's growing a lot. And I'm also able to see it here. Um, and if you pay attention to the way that I speak, it's starting to mess with it because I'm feeling it. So I'm doing gestures that I'm not used to doing it. And it's starting to bother me. I'm not in like serious pain, but it's definitely starting to bother. Like I definitely feel something that shouldn't be there a lot more now than when it was a little bit smaller. So it's definitely grown a lot. But because I've always had have had beautiful cheeks, it wasn't as noticeable to the eye to many people, including myself. But the more I look in the mirror, like I said, especially ever since I've lost at least this weight, I people. I have not noticed it as much, but if I like go like this and I point it out, they're like, oh my God, yeah. And I believe that that is one of the reasons that it's causing me to have like this double chin, the style. Like I, I know I have had a double chin, but the way that it's like forming, it's being pushed down by what I believe is a tumor because I can feel it all the way to my neck. And I don't really care. I mean, I'd be lying if I say I didn't care about the cosmetic, but Honestly, once I feel it back here, I'm really starting to worry about like my esophagus and like damage that it could do. Like that to me is more scary than anything. Um, for a moment, I did think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a scar. Or what if it doesn't heal? What if I have like the way my lip moves a certain way? What if it's like permanent or I lose feeling? And you know, of course all of that, you know, we're, we all are vain to a certain extent. But honestly, at this point, I'm really concerned for the way that it's it's growing because I've never been able to feel it this far back like I do now. And like I said, it's starting to be a little discomfort. My tooth here is starting to feel a little loose because I have no jawbone. The only thing that's keeping it connected from this side, whatever's left on this side to this side is the tumor. Um, the official name, and I don't know if I'm gonna say this correctly, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen, is called amyloblastoma or amyloblastoma, one of the two ways. I Googled it to figure out how to pronounce it, um, but I couldn't remember which it's a very rare case so they're very aggressive they're usually benign and not cancerous and like i said i had a biopsy done and it is not cancerous um but the process to remove it has been the worst experience of my life aside from the fact that i've been extremely busy i have been dealing with government medical and it is the worst thing ever to get a surgery at this level it has been a nightmare and that's one of the reasons why I would go to the doctor's appointments and would share with you all that I was going to doctor's appointments but I wasn't really kind of going into details because I didn't even have all the details but I'm at a point where finally after going to the dentist being referred to my primary care physician being referred to an oral surgeon, a smaller clinic oral surgeon, to finally being referred to the University of Southern California Medical Oral Surgery to get a consultation and start the process to have the surgery. Like that's where I finally have been approved. And even that, that has taken since August. And it just, it's been a nightmare. And I will definitely want to make a video on that, like on the day that I go and concentrate it. Or maybe you guys don't care process, but I do want to document it because I feel like it's important and it's something that's been probably adding stress to my life for a very long time, but I just keep it in the back burner. But it's kind of been at the forefront lately because it's so prominent, not only visually, but like I said, it it's starting to 
to bother me. Um, luckily, like I said, it's not painful, but it, it, it's just a daily reminder that I have, and that's like a burden that I've been carrying for quite a while, and I'm just starting to realize it. And to so all of the worries that I have and everything that I'm going through emotionally right now. So I just wanted to share that with you all because I know that many of you have definitely kept me in your prayers and you're sending me positive thoughts and you're constantly asking like how are you doing or i hope you know you don't you don't have to share but i hope everything is well and i really appreciate that um but that is the reason why i haven't shared a lot of that information is because i myself wasn't even sure what the heck was going on because like i said it's been a nightmare so that is probably the very short version to kind of speed you up through the process, I have seen so many doctors and so many dentists and so many referrals to finally get to this stage. I should be calling the hospital tomorrow. I'm giving them 24 hours to fax it to the correct location and they should be mailing me the authorization um, for me to take in person. So hopefully sometime within the next two to three weeks, which is not ideal for me because I have finals and the holidays are coming up and all of that good stuff, but I, it's something that I need to get done. So that is my update on that. And I just feel like getting it off my chest with you all and it feels good. So thank you for listening. If you've made it this far, you are a true home biscuit. Anyways, again, thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. But your sweet love keeps me holding out for your sweet love to come.